Welcome back to part 2 of making an RDS sequel, Crucifer's Manifesto with subpar programming skills. Today I need to make Habanero Jr. walk around the screen, which shouldn't be too hard, right? Well, making him simply move around is actually really easy, like literally a few lines of code. Slap a rigid body 2D on that bad boy, write a few lines, and soon enough he'll move. But like, I need him animated. That was a little bit more complicated. For this I used an animation tree here where it enters into a four-way idle state, and then using conditions that check which direction I am facing, I can move to states that determine which directional animation to play. I can change these billion values in the code, which I did in maybe a very stupid way, which was just checking what buttons the player was pressing. Like I said, subpar programming skills. I knew I'd have to fix this later, considering that a fully-fledged game should have control rebinding, which would devastate this whole operation. Before you come after me though, I did end up changing it later, which I'll go into more detail on in a later video. Nonetheless, with all these conditions checked, Habanero Jr. actually walks, fully animated, in the correct direction, and for me, this was a pretty big win. Most of my experience revolves around stupid JavaScript. I was never really formally taught object-oriented programming, by a decent teacher anyway, so I fail to fully wrap my brain around it sometimes. Not that this code really uses it thus far, but nonetheless, my little artist brain gets overwhelmed easily. I've done a lot of Unity projects at uni, but it's all group work where I let my groommates do the coding while I pump out the art, which, well, probably isn't the best for learning, but hey, it works for getting good grades at least. Next, I want a nice background, so that should be easy enough. Stay tuned for that in part 3.